Fresh water is becoming one of the scarcest resources on the planet. Which sounds crazy, right? I mean, the world's scientists are saying the oceans are rising and you probably have running water in your house. Shoot, look at a map and you'll see that 71% of the Earth's surface is covered in water. So, how could we be running out? Well, almost all the water in the world is salt water, so we can't drink it or grow crops with it. About 1% is in the atmosphere and only 2.5% is fresh water in liquid form. Out of that small amount of fresh water, most of it is found in ice caps, glaciers, and permanent snow, and almost all the rest is found in the ground. Yep. Only about 1% of the world's fresh water is easily available to the creatures, plants, and 7 billion humans that live on land. That's it. And here's where we currently stand. Some estimate that we've consumed or are already using about 50 to 60% of our fresh water, 70% going to agriculture, 22% going to industry, and about 8% is what we consume in our homes. Except remember, we eat the food that agriculture grows and use the things that industry makes. So humans are really doing all of the drinking of the milkshake, so to speak. And literally, we love our milkshakes. From start to finish, everyday things all around you have a bigger water footprint than you might imagine. For example, it takes about 140 liters of water to produce one cup of coffee, 14,400 liters to produce one kilogram of beef, 24,000 liters to produce one kilogram of chocolate, and 39,090 liters to produce a new car. Bigger step than you thought, right? About 1 in 8 people don't have access to safe water, and it's even worse in cities where that number is only 1 in 4. On top of that, our population has doubled in the last 40 years. Industrialization continues to develop in response, and our use of water has also quadrupled. Again, to put this simply, we are literally drinking our home, this lovely green and blue milkshake, all up. And if you're thinking water scarcity only happens to other people, I've got water, I'm fine, think again. Even places that currently have access to clean water are at risk due to things like industrial accidents, agricultural waste, poor water management, natural disasters, and yep, from all of the other things that people like you and I flush down the drain. See, that stuff doesn't just go away, it goes back into your milkshake. Innovations of culture and technology that offer sustainable and cleaner industry, farming, and living can change the way that we and all of our descendants live for the better. The way we buy and sell, grow our food, produce our goods and services, and literally govern, develop, build, and interact with everything and everyone around us matters. So what are some of the solutions? What are some ideas that are out there? What are some of the other challenges and hopefully most important to you, what can you do? To find out, check out our other videos, share your solutions below, and if you get really excited, type solve the water crisis in a search engine, learn more, and do something cool.